There is so much that happens during the holiday season, so much to think about, so much to do. Yeah. And of course, we want to get advice from our moms on the go on how to handle that stress. And I'm sure you each have different ideas. So nice to see you ladies. Morning. Allie Dar, Molly Pearson, and Lisa Harst. All right, let's start with Molly. How do you do it all during the holiday season? Well, um, ours has always been a little more challenging because my husband's parents are divorced and my parents are divorced. Okay. So, um, you know, when we got married, we kind of decided that our family has to come first mm -hmm. and, you know, we're going to kind of divide up the holidays. So um, we do try to see everybody, but sometimes it's based over two days versus just one day. Um, and as often as possible, we've hosted Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and tried to bring as many family members together in our home yeah. as we could. Is so. there, is there a, like a guilt feeling that you ever feel because of that? Or are you kind of just like, you know what, this is how it is. I've got to put my family first. Are you really trying to make an effort to just not feel guilty about any of that? Yeah, I mean, our big thing was we didn't create the situation. Mm -hmm. We just have to deal with it. And mm -hmm. so, um, and it, it's not something that was new. You know, our parent, my parents have been divorced for a really long time. So. Um, you know, I don't, there really wasn't any guilt, but mm -hmm. again, just trying to bring everybody putting together. Your, yeah, and putting your immediate family first. Correct. Really good advice. Correct. Yeah. What about you, Allie? Well, we're the same as Molly. My parents are divorced, and my husband's parents are divorced, and everybody's pulling us every which way. <laughs> and so we decided to, what to do is to not really celebrate on the holidays with everyone, because mm -hmm. it's not even possible, because my parents live two hours away. Um, so we decided to split up weekends and so with my parents we'll celebrate Thanksgiving on Saturday which is totally fine and we were just honest and upfront because I think you have to be honest about what your family can really do yeah because it's not possible to drag your kids three places in right. a row. Well, you want to be able to enjoy the yeah. moment instead right. of being like we've got to get out of here to head exactly. to you know? yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So you have to be honest. All right. What about you, Lisa? We kind of split them up as far as like, uh, we can't go everywhere. It's the same thing. I have a divorced parents. Mm -hmm. Jeff's parents live for a couple of hours, over an hour away. So it's just impossible. So we usually do, we'll go one place on Thanksgiving Day, and whoever's we don't go on Thanksgiving, we'll go on Christmas Day. All right. So we kind of switch, and then the following year, we'll go to that family for Thanksgiving, on, and then go to that family's for Christmas Day. So that way, I mean, the time flies by. It's like you don't mm -hmm. even remember which one you were at last anyways. But it makes it fun because, like you said, you can relax. You're not like, we have to leave right now. Yeah. Well, and it seems like you guys, like you guys have made really smart decisions in that way. But how do your like parents and your in-laws handle that? Do they get offended at all? Yeah. Do they? My mother-in-law got very offended that we would not be opening Christmas presents at her house on Christmas morning. And the first, when we only had one kid, I was okay with letting it slide. But now that we have three kids, I want them at home, in yeah. our home, opening their presents. Yeah. So it's a matter of just, like, putting your immediate family first. Mm -hmm. And, you know, feelings are going to get hurt in families. I mean, I guess that happens. So right. Yeah. Right. it's good just to stay solid with your, you know, your decisions and well, what you want to do with your husband. I also think that you have to take your kids into consideration because... Mm -hmm they can become overstimulated very quickly and then it's not enjoyable for anybody. So, right. you know, taking into consideration their nap times, you know, it, traveling in the car back and forth, eating 25 times in one day, <laughs> you know, I mean, all of that needs to be taken into consideration and you do have to do what's right for your immediate family. Okay. So, you know, but again, trying to accommodate everybody is something we all want to do. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, you know, it, like Ali said, if you are kind of upfront and say, here's what we need to do, mm -hmm. We still want to see you. How do we yeah. make this work? All right. Some good advice, ladies. We'll talk about this more next hour as well. Our WNWO Moms on the Go. And, you know, holidays are hectic. I think that probably goes without saying. And our moms are here to offer us some advice on how to make them go a little easier, right? <laughs> We're all about easy. Right. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Exactly. Joining us, of course, are Lisa Harst, Molly Pearson, and Ali Dar. All right, ladies, let's just start. We'll start with Lisa this time. Kind of give us your overall advice for the holidays for parents. It's tough to travel, especially with little ones when you have divorced sides of the families and 50 places to go in one in 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So it's tough. I mean, for us, we kind of pick. We do Thanksgiving with one family, Christmas with another. But there are times where we'll go back and forth on one day, and it's a lot. So I have little ones, so with Braxton, I always have to take a pack and play, or like a play yard, so he can take a nap before somewhere. Because mm -hmm. he naps like two or three times a day. Yeah. So I always have to be prepared, which can be a hassle, but they fold up nice and easy. So. And with Colton, sometimes I'll just, it's okay to be late, I think. Like, your parents should understand. With oh. Colton, we let him nap, and then we'll just go. I know some people get, like, anal about times and eating, but when you have kids, there's no such thing as on time anyways. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'd rather let him nap. And you don't want to, a cranky kid is much worse than being late, I'll uh, tell you that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cannot even imagine. Yeah. All right, Molly, what's your best advice for the holidays? Um, well, like Lisa, we have parents that are divorced mm -hmm. on both sides. So, um, you know, I... 
ideally there's four different places we would like to go. Yeah. Um, but for the past couple of years, we've actually tried to host it at our house so that anybody that can come is more than welcome mm -hmm. and anybody that can't come, you know, yeah. we try to see them on another day. Um, if we don't do it that way, then, you know, usually it's somebody's in the afternoon and then somebody's at, at night. But again, I think, you know, once you have your own family, you have to start making your own traditions and right. you have to do what's best for your kids. And I think that's a really good point. And we talked a little earlier, that, you know, you really worry about probably hurting your parents' right. feelings, your in-laws' feelings. Um, how do you guys deal with that? Ali, how do you deal with that? You have to be upfront and honest um, and do what's right for your family and your schedule. Mm -hmm. And if it means traveling on a different day, do it on a different day. So I think you just have to be really flexible and you have to be open and honest with your parents so they're not expecting you to be on time and then you're late. So yeah. you just have to be honest about what's really realistic. Excellent. I mean, being laid back, I think. Is they should understand really they were yeah. parents with us. Yeah. You know, they've all had kids. Like, yeah. I feel like when parents get really mad about that kind of thing, it just doesn't seem fair. Like, you know how hard it is to try to yeah. balance all these things with your kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just not realistic. Hear that, parents out there? Yeah. Be nice. <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> Don't worry. And then also, you need to make lists because we've traveled before and I forgot an entire suitcase. So you mm. should make a list, check it twice, check the car twice so there's no headaches when you arrive at your I place. I like that for Christmas, make a list, yeah. check it twice. Yeah. Right, right, <laughs> nice, nice. nice. Alright, well, I mean, your guys' charity, you guys are still doing Food for Thought, correct? Yep, Food for Thought. Um, at the end of the month, we are actually going to go and help them make um, bagged lunches of peanut butter and jelly chips. Um, usually cookies or something else. So we are still taking donations of um, like monetary donations. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking for obviously peanut butter. And how, how can people get in contact with you guys to do that? Um, you can get in contact with us through our blog, um, Facebook. Okay. Um, all of our information is up there. So okay. Great. And of course you can find all this information on our website, northwestohio.com. All right, ladies, thank you so thank much. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it.